So we're going to move to our one minute um, recap. So we'll give each panelist um, one key point for successful integrations in today's environment. We'll start with Linda. Okay, so I would say time. Um, time is the only non-renewable resource. So time has to be very deliberately scheduled and thought out. So while you want to push a team to have a very aggressive timeline, um, do things as fast as possible, you don't want to make it so fast um, that you miss the important steps or it's unexecutable because these things are so complex that if you start down a timeline and it's not executable, it's a lot of confusion, a lot of chaos. So I think the message for me would be to very deliberately think about time and the balance of pushing, but also allowing enough time to do it correctly. And value erosion. And well. value erosion yeah. as well, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Pete. So mine's pretty simple, but I think it spans everything we've talked about today. Um, terminology and language is critical. You have to get that right. I uh, come from uh, uh, the, the, the uh, traditional company, the parent company, uh, Northwestern Mutual, uh, financial planning, insurance, investments, that just screams of there are going to be acronyms. And so when we use these acronyms or we use the terminology, and it can be from the startup too, right? There's startup terms that a, a veteran of the, of the uh, big company is not familiar with. When we use terms everyone doesn't understand, it's actually non-inclusive. It, it works against what we're trying to do. So we've spent a lot of time saying, we, you know, giving permission, what does that mean? Taking a step back, what, what's that terminology, what's that language we're using? Um, the next step really is fluency around language, right? What's the difference between I'm carrying a, a Portuguese to English translation dictionary, so I can kind of figure out what the term means toward becoming fluent. So that's sort of the, the journey. Terminology and language to start, or terminology to start with and move to fluency of language. And I thought you were gonna say something around dogs in the office help <laughs> accelerate integration, yeah. so, oh well. Dogs, but not birds. Yeah. No. No birds. So Kim, what's yours? Mine, I'm gonna take the social media approach and do it a little bit quicker. I, I think that the key is building a culture where you have people that really embrace change. So I don't think you want to just survive change. You want your people to thrive in change. And a transaction represents change on a number of fronts. Even after that transaction becomes what is usually a transformation, there's always going to be a change. Great. And Brian? Um, I think in integration planning, uh, you actually do have to sweat the small stuff. And whether that's you know who the integration leader is or whether that's a decision about vintage t-shirts um, in, in a session, uh, it really is important, and the reason why is because what you do in the first three months of integration planning, you have to live with for the next three years of that, um, you know, combined company. So uh, the message there is, you know, don't screw it up. 